when you build stuff as a kid in model form, they're not quite as big. But when I uh, stood next to this thing and the radiator cap was like up where my nose was, I knew it was a monstrous machine. This is a Sonder Crossfight Souk 7, an 8-ton German half-track. These were made in Germany during World War II, of course. They were the primary mover for these 88 guns. The 88 caliber weapons, the 88 millimeter weapons, would be towed behind an 8-ton half-track like this. The crew for the gun could ride along. There was room for 12 inside this big monstrous machine. Just like the American half-track, those wheels in the front, they're free freewheeling. They help uh, steer just a little bit, but the main steering takes place with braking the tracks in the back. Of course, this thing has great traction. It can go just about anywhere, and it can tow one of these big, heavy 88 millimeter guns also. There were never enough of these in Germany. A lot of regular army units in the uh, German, German army had to use horse-drawn uh, artillery. They would use uh, smaller machines and some of the high-profile, um, really uh, serious units would be awarded to these with any machine that uh, yeah. becomes popular and dependable. They were used for all sorts of things. There were armored versions of these vehicles. There were ones that had half, or that have uh, anti-aircraft guns in the back um, that they could use to uh, plant in different locations uh, for low caliber anti-aircraft. As well, a very heavily armored version of this vehicle was used as a mobile launch station for V-2 rockets. If anything went wrong with the rocket, you were inside a little armored pillbox on the back of the aircraft. Watch those uh, front wheels slide as it goes around the corner. The machine is powered by a relatively small 140 horsepower Maybach engine. It's liquid cooled and it's a six cylinder. The thing's a little bit much to parallel park. It's uh, over 22 feet long. That's uh, bigger than your 1960s Chrysler 300. Carry more people too, as well. This particular vehicle came as part of the little field collection. Littlefield was a military vehicle collector, and his materials went up for auction, and the FAC was able to acquire some of the rarest and most interesting vehicles from the collection. The M55 you see on static display behind you, as well as the Scud missile launcher, which has already gone into restoration, were other pieces of the Littlefields collection. tractors, very small, light machines. The first one is a Sonderkraft Bakzu 2.0. 
two for a heavy or heavy crab. It looks like a uh, tracked motorcycle, but it's more tracked than it is a motorcycle. The Germans designed this vehicle to be dropped with paratroopers behind enemy lines. They could use this small tracker to move equipment and people quickly and easily. That front wheel has a new one of the steering. It's actually great on the track. So as the driver moves the front, the front steering wheel, the tracks break and move that vehicle around. It was considered quite valuable on the battlefield. It could go just about anywhere through, through mud and snow. And it was considered valuable to both sides. American and British and Russian units love to be able to capture a pet crab and use it in service. This particular pen crab came from a collector in New Jersey. They were all over the place. In fact, a lot of European farms, farmers would try to acquire one of these machines. Sometimes they'd take the front wheel off completely, and um, they would use it as a farm tractor. They were very, very valuable and interesting to have. The other machine is very similar in a lot of ways. It's a mule. That's for the light tractor. The mule's designation is an M274, and it was introduced in 1956. a quarter ton truck or jeep of sorts, although it's lighter. It was replacing those those quarter ton jeeps that were used in service during World War II. Airborne and infantry battalions used these. There was a weapons carrier version named the M37. You can see this particular mule has a crew of two. The back crewman manning an M60 machine gun. Other versions carried a recoilless rifle. They were used as very small tank destroyers. You can set up with this, hide, and fire, and then depart. This particular mule is owned by a member of the Puget Sound Military Vehicle Collectors Club. Happy to show it off to you today.